My name is Andrea Bueller. My name is Jeremy Blair. I'm Michael Thomas, and we're Team Fogwater. Fogwater is a premium bottled water brand that's looking to challenge every perception of what bottled water is. It's really three things, a new source, environmentally sustainable packaging, and a social mission. We're looking to get our water from cloud harvesting, which is a non-groundwater source and addresses the issues of groundwater depletion and groundwater pollution that are affecting a lot of the developed and developing world. All that has to happen is for suspended water droplets in the air to come in contact with our cloud harvesting nets, coalesce into larger droplets, and then run into a collection trough. From there, the water is piped to a treatment facility, filtered, sterilized, and then put into bottles. It's a non-invasive, passive technique with less of a risk for contamination than spring or well water. This project developed in a social entrepreneurship class that was taught at Princeton University, where Michael and I developed a business plan to actually target people in water-scarce regions with the cloud harvesting technology. But what we realized is that another way at the issue would be to make a premium product that puts a profit pledge on every bottle sold to partner with humanitarian organizations that already have feet on the ground. I was actually born on the island of St. Vincent and the Grenadines, but my family moved to New York when I was very young. After going to Princeton and growing up in New York, I always knew that I wanted to give back to that place that I came from. So while we were developing our business plan, I realized that St. Vincent had some of the perfect conditions for cloud harvesting. So we actually took a trip down there this summer to set up a pilot site. Whenever we told someone about our idea, they were incredibly excited about it, and they were really proud that you know, we'd be able to be going forward with this. The biggest challenge on the trip was definitely hiking up the volcano La Soufre. So when we told people that we were going to do this in the first place, they were like, what are you talking about? You're going to hike up there all the way up to the top? We were like, yes, that's what we're going to do. And then we told them that we're going to do it twice in one week, and they just laughed at us. But it was, again, really rewarding coming out of the palm break, which is what they call one of the climates, and seeing all the clouds around us, seeing the fog, and just how perfect it was for cloud harvesting. It was just a really exciting moment. And then being able to finally put up our net and see it standing there, already collecting water pretty much as soon as we put it up, that was kind of like, it was an amazing experience. And then coming back to, to Soufre the second time, first of all, we didn't know if our cloud harvesting net was going to be standing when we got up there. We weren't really sure that that was going to happen. So we came up, we saw it standing there in the first place, which was like, yeah, mission accomplished, number one. But then we really, really wanted to know how much water we can actually get. So Jeremy runs over to the to cloud harvesting net, he sees the tank there, and he goes, it's overflowing! And that was like indescribable happiness, really, at that point. You know, just to see that not only was it a really great site, but it far surpassed our expectations in terms of how much water we can actually get 